and she calls me and she says, um, I don't know how to tell you this, Mum. We had, um, we'd bought her a new phone before she went on holiday, an iPhone 7S or whatever, you know, it was on a contract, two-year contract. And um, she called me to let me know that she had had her phone stolen. Her phone wasn't insured. And she was two months into her contract. And she had phoned all of her sisters first before she called me. <laughs> trying to get advice as to sort of what will mum say and she called me she's like mum I'm really sorry mum I'm really sorry I've never heard such a groveling phone call in all my life so she's groveling and I've got this huge smile on my face trying not to laugh thank god it wasn't FaceTime and I just said to her I said did you leave it on a table where somebody could see it were you drunk? She says, no, mum. She's a guy bumped into me. He must have taken my phone then. I said, well, look, that's my fault because I should have made to make sure that it was insured. I said, look, we'll just buy out of that contract. I said, you know, we've got the money just now. We can do that and we'll get insurance this time. And she's like, mum, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, Lauren, it's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm sober. It's all good. <laughs> it's not a problem. And, and she said to me later on that day, which just filled my heart and filled my eyes, she said, Mum, you not creating a drama out of that made me see how often I do. And how I, I can't argue with what is. Because it is what it is. I have never taught my kids about this understanding formally, yet they blow me away with what they've seen through just embodying this understanding from me and from their father. That's where the magic lies. The magic lies in living this understanding. You just get to see so much about life, about yourself, about other people. And it is, it's the gift that just keeps giving time and time and time again.